Well, hello. Welcome to another camping adventure. <laughs> so it's Forrest and I tonight, and we are camping at McLean State Park. The only bad part is we are next to the highway, but the highway is not a very busy highway, honestly. Um, and I think in the evening there's going to be hardly any cars. So um, we're not next to the water, but the water is, you know, Lake Superior is just through the woods over there, and we're kind of halfway. So one end of the park, there's the swimming area, there's concessions, ice cream, and things like that. And then the other end of the park is more of like the really packed um, camping sites. And we're kind of in the middle, which is I think is kind of nice. Um, there's nobody, nobody on this side. Nice big hill. And there's only, you know, one person right there, but they're not that close. Um, and I'm standing in where is a nice tent site here um, and somebody left a poker behind and some logs so already winning and as you can see there's plenty of trees to put up our hammocks so I'm gonna get the rest of our stuff unloaded and uh, Boris wants to go explore so I just got this new hammock which one of my one of you guys sent to me um, it's a Pathfinder hammock and it has bug netting and everything included so I'm going to be setting it up for the first time. I'm kind of excited. I kind of peeked at it, but I haven't actually like taken it all the way out yet. So really excited to see how it looks and try it out. We are going to head over to the swimming area for now. It's about 4 or 4.30, so it's still pretty hot. So I want to get some swimming in because that's a big part of the reason why I wanted to camp tonight because it's hot. I don't know how hot it is here. It was 80 degrees at home, I think, so which is pretty hot for, for us up here. So let's go cool off. We came over to the rocky side. <laughs> the sandy side is over there, but there's always a lot more people. And just on this side is all of these rocks. So I'm going to go in with my sandals on for sure. It's a really beautiful day down here. The last couple times I've been down here, it's been super windy. Like, uh, almost unbearably windy. <laughs> so this is really nice.
Good job, buddy. What'd you find? Oh, that's a good one. If you like to look for rocks, this is a really good beach for it here. There's all kinds of just the right size rocks. Um, I don't ever find a lot of beach glass here. I don't know why, but... Um, so there's this side and then just across the other side um, is what we call the breakers, um, which is another break wall. And then in between them is uh, the Portage Canal. What did you find? Tweezers. Tweezers. Ah, very useful. <laughs> Are you having fun playing in the log jam? Yeah. Do you want to come see it? Mm hmm. Come. All right, let's go see the log jam. Oh yeah. That's a cool fort. Good camp in there. It'd be a little rough to find a place to sleep, though. <laughs> now we're going to take a little walk down the pier. I know. Look at how clear the water is. This is one of the many reasons I love Lake Superior. And there's big rocks. Yep. Gets deep really fast on this side. The other side's definitely shallower. <laughs> yep. Those are some slippery rocks. <laughs> and then look at how sandy this side is. I jumped in, I would have jumped in. That made no sense. I don't know. Okay. Well, I don't know where to start. Good job. No, I'm getting better. This is four, five. It's like one of these rocks fell. Mm. And you hit your chin. <laughs> You're just thinking about all kinds of horrible things. What? Got some ice cream over at the ice cream stand. Is it good? 
I just got it all over my hand. made fire. <laughs> Having a really nice evening. My sister uh, came by and joined us on the beach and then sat by the fire for a few hours with us, which was really nice. Um, <clears throat> there were some pretty good rumbles of thunder earlier. There's no rain in the forecast, um, so I think it just kind of passed over, probably it passed over the lake. Um, so hopefully it doesn't rain, but I don't, I really don't think it's going to. Of course, just having a really good time riding his bike around and around. <laughs> so, oh. You having a good time, buddy? Good. I'm so annoyed I ended up cracking my molar yesterday. <laughs> um, it's a tooth that I've had a root canal on in the past, so that I don't think there's much to it, unfortunately. So I don't know, like I'm trying to just keep it in there, like hardly eating, um, just very carefully eating only on the right side right now. Um, so I'm just, I was kind of very, like last night I kind of had a little cry, I was very frustrated by life at the moment and everything's fine now, but yeah, it, you know, just need a little break from stuff happening all the time, <laughs> please. <laughs> so camping therapy is the best thing for that. So I'm glad we had such a such a nice evening tonight. The temperature was great. Um, it's still hazy from the wildfire smoke, but um, I mean, I just now put on a sweater, and it's I don't even know what time. Probably almost nine o'clock. So, um, and I'm still comfortable. And uh, yeah, I had a really nice evening. I'm so glad. Like this morning, I just all of a sudden decided we were going to go camping today. I was able to find this spot. It was a whole process of trying to find different campsites and all of them being full and then this one just happened to be open so it's a little more on the expensive side being a state campground I think it was like forty six dollars or something um, plus the fees but um, Forrest and I both needed this time away and it's so good to be in Lake Superior and be by a fire and I'm excited to sleep in the tent tonight and I think Forrest is too so this is really good for us to spend the time together as well this is how I like my hot dog. I like the natural casing hot dogs. I like to cook them. Oop, if I can get it to focus. I like to cook them until they just start splitting. Yeah. That's perfect. And then I like it with a nice hearty whole wheat bun and lots of mustard. And <laughs> very carefully Somehow I have to try to eat this tiny little bites, chewing only on the right side, which kind of ruins the effect, but it's still going to be good. It's definitely getting dark now. <clears throat> it's about 10.15. The wind is picking up a little bit. Forrest found a little, a little buddy. They're like little best friends already. It's so easy to make friends when you're a kid. It's so cute. So they've been riding around and around the loop. So, just told them last lap, um, they've gone around probably 30 times, just chattering away the whole time. It's exactly what I was hoping for. I'd hope, I was really hoping he'd make a little friend here, 
So I'm very, very happy for him. Firelight. Mm -hmm. Well, it's about 10.30. I think I'm going to go to bed, actually. Or 10.40? Yeah, it's 10.40. Forrest just went into bed. And I'm going to go into bed. The mosquitoes. All of a sudden got really bad. It's the worst they've been all night. Usually they die down at night, but... Um, yeah, they're just really, uh, really going after my legs. <laughs> So, I think I've had enough. It's been a long week already. Um, and we'll have some more fun in the morning, I'm sure. Maybe go for a little hike or something. So, good night. Good morning. <laughs> Look a little bit like I need a shower. <laughs> it's I think about 8:45. We slept well. The sound of the highway was the only annoying part, but honestly, we we were pretty tired and we slept well. So Forrest woke up at about six. I had to go pee, so he did that. So now we're on a walk to the actual bathrooms. <laughs> Looks like it's going to be a beautiful day. I think it's supposed to be in the 70s today. Check out here is 11. I only got was able to get the one night, but I'm not sure if I'll stick around here. or I do have tons of stuff to do at home. The good part is that this campground is not super far from our house, so... I was like, well, I can do one night of camping and then I could still get home. I have tons and tons of editing to do. I've had like three trips now that I need to, to edit and put out videos. So play first, then work. I really think these kind of campers are really cute. But I want to see what they're like inside. But all these in these loops are pretty, you know, there's pretty nice tree cover in between each campground or camp site. There we go. So that's the trade-off here, I guess, is there's privacy, but then you have the road. The forest wants to make a fire this morning, so I said he could make a little one because we do want to go exploring before we have to check out, so he's going to practice making a tiny fire, and I'm going to make some breakfast.
Your little fire's going. I think it's going enough. You have made fire. And now I'm gonna have my coffee. <laughs> so that was a little detour I was not not expecting, but that's all right. He's happy when he has his fire. My forest fire. <laughs> oh, no forest fires. You ready for your oatmeal? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Go sit by your fire. I know I need to get going with <clears throat> packing up the camp and all the things, but I'm going to lay in the hammock for a little bit. Forrest just went off on his bike to go see if he could find his friend before they have to leave too, so I'm just going to lay in the hammock for a little bit because I love being in the hammock. Other than the sounds of the cars going by, of course. <laughs> I don't know. I really want to do some specifically like hammock camping. And I want to learn how to like do the tarp over the top if it's gonna rain. This one's so cool with the, the bug netting. I'm excited about that. It does make it hotter, but <clears throat> obviously here and next to Lake Superior and stuff where I camp, it's it's so cool in the evenings anyway. But it's another overcast day. Again, I don't know whether it's from the wildfires or I don't know, it just seems to be the norm this summer. It's just it's just gonna be overcast for most of the most of the summer. And I'm wondering if that's why I'm having like a hard time kicking this cold. I've just been coughing all week. Take my foot out and give myself a little push. <laughs> and just rock back and forth. Hopefully this isn't making you seasick. <laughs> It's so nice when you're trying to sleep at night though. You just put yourself rocking like a baby in a cradle. Into the breeze and the and the birds. <sighs> Time to get motivated. Figure if we at least pack up our stuff. We don't have to leave obviously out of the park at eleven. <laughs> Just out of our campsite. Sure there's somebody else who'll be coming in that's just as excited to be here. Time to take down the tent. It's always the sad part.
packed up. <laughs> we had a great time. I'm so glad, even though we only got one night, I'm so glad that we did it. And thanks for watching. <laughs> Do the Macarena. <laughs> Give us a like if you like forest dancing. <laughs> we'll see you in the next one. Bye! Ha, ha, ha.